falling over. <laughs> Player. If you are new to my channel, welcome, or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. We have changed venues. We are no longer in the green room with the fan art board. No, now I am coming to you from the basement studio I have set up because this is the only like livable area in the house right now. It is 90 degrees outside. <laughs> it is so hot. I may actually perish. And to celebrate this new location, I want to kick off a new series. This is hopefully the first video in something I have decided to call the One Day Cosplay Challenge. And I hope I'm the first person to think of that because I was really impressed with the name I came up with. I am going to be challenging myself to put together a cosplay in one day that I would post on my Instagram. I hope you guys like this series. I think it could be potentially a lot of fun between having people suggest characters I try and seeing how I create photos and cosplays on a very short time crunch. I think this could be like a little interesting thing, you know? The first character I have chosen for this challenge is Misa Amane from Death Note. So I have scoured my closet and together we are going to pick some things to wear. The great thing about Misa in my mind is that she is a fashion icon. So although she does have one standard outfit that most people cosplay, she wears a whole variety of clothes in both the manga and the anime. So as long as you're kind of within the gothic theme, people have potential to recognize you and know that you're Misa. I feel like I have a lot of good options, honestly, because I already cosplay Heather Chandler, Loop as a red robe, and Ladybug. So I own a lot of red and black. I've got a red heart choker. I've got little red hair bows. I've got some black choker necklaces. You know, a lot, a lot of chokers, a lot of hearts. I already painted my nails red because if you have seen my four improvement tips for cosplay video, you know I always paint my nails. So I did that yesterday. This part I'm super excited about because Misa's standard outfit comes with these black fingerless lace gloves and I have black lace gloves and I'm just honestly going to cut the fingers off because I don't use these gloves for any other cosplay. I'm okay with like ruining them for Misa by changing them a little bit. Okay, we have changed slightly. I've got the basic black tank top. I've got like a waist trainer corset thing on. And I've got the Junko red skirt. Wee! <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the corset, because honestly, it's just pretty uncomfortable. So, <laughs> Free myself. Blah. Oh, that's so much better. So this is one of those like neck shirt cages. Is that what you're doing? You're putting your collarbones in a cage? I have no idea what to call these things. They're like these strappy contraptions that were popular a while ago. And I got this one for my Gang Heather cosplay, which is basically um, Heather's the musical, but like reimagined as like a, a girl gang. So we're all wearing like flannels and boots and we have like weapons and it's really cute. Um, if you haven't already, go look at it on my Instagram because we look real good. But I bought this for that. And it's, um, I don't wear it much because where would I wear this? So this is a thing. Um, is it good for Misa is the question because Misa's very like cute. You know what? We're going to go with it. We're going to, we're going to work with it. We're going to make it happen. Then I've got my black gloves and I'm going to cut the fingertips off. There's no going back from this. <laughs> It's okay. I'm, I'm always very scared of making like permanent changes to anything, but it's okay. I have a job. I have a, I have a nine to five desk job now, y'all. I could, I could buy another pair of gloves if I had to, so. Ah. Oh, that's cute. Okay, yes, this was a good decision. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, okay, it's coming together. This is making it come together. Oh, I'm so happy. I wonder if I can use these little finger caps for something. Just a little. Nope. Never mind. Is that 
cute? Or is that too, like, slutty? Like, is that, is that too much like the lamp in a Christmas story? <laughs> it might be. Maybe I'll, I'll just go full fishnet tight. We don't want to be, like, inappropriate. Okay, yeah, that's better. Less um, showgirl, more goth. That's better. That's more of what we're going for. What we are gonna do is we're gonna get the classic early 2000s stretchy choker, which ironically, I also got for Gang Heather. <laughs> this is mostly just more Gang Heather wear, but you know, we're using cosplays, it works. <laughs> this cosplay could be really good for summer cause I don't have to wear a full shirt. Like, ooh, ooh, I mean, an outdoor con or photo shoot, I'd have to put on a lot of sunscreen cause otherwise I will burn and die. But if it was inside, I could be really nice and cool. Lots of airflow. Mm -hmm. Not get heat stroke like that one time. We've got the base, we've got some accessories. So I'm going to save the final touches for later and let's move on to makeup. Hello there, we're on the floor now. So up close, you can fully see my unmakeuped face and my unbrushed hair. It's a great look we're going for today. I'm not following like any one tutorial or using any one reference photo for my Misa makeup. Because like I said with the outfit, she just kind of has a general gothic vibe. So that's all I'm really gonna go off of. I'm just gonna have fun with it. Let's go for like a red, little like smoky red to black, just to match the clothes, you know? That's how basically I do my makeup. I'm not more creative than that. I'm just like, oh, I'll kind of coordinate it to what I'm wearing much like, you know, an eighth grade girl putting on blue eyeshadow for the first time because she's wearing like a blue dress to her little like graduation dance. Like, that's what I did. <laughs> Something I've really struggled with is making my makeup like pigmented and dramatic enough for good photography because I really am not a person who likes dramatic makeup. But with a character like Misa, you want her to look like really intense and I'm just I'm bad at going all in I'm too like inhibited release your inhibitions put red all over your eyes give yourself a smoky eye look make it really fast and dramatic do it now for the cosplay so it shows up in photos now we cover up our sins Doop -doop -doop. If I had one tip for baby me when I started cosplaying, it would be to always use blush no matter the character. Another makeup tip current me would give baby me is, um, girl, stop doing your eyebrows like an insane person, like an insane raccoon living in a dumpster. I see photos of myself from sophomore year of college when I first started doing my eyebrows and it's it's horrifying. If you're like me and you always wimp out with the eyeshadow colors and you have a hard time really going for it, I recommend doing this little wash of color below your eye line, just at the corner, because that really helps like show it off. To finish this off, we are going to use my coveted metal liquid lipstick from the body shop in the shade Scarlet Steel, which I covet because they don't make it anymore and they should. Body shop, if you're seeing this, hit a girl up with some PR. <laughs> Am I Misa Misa material? No, we need a wig. Okay, now I'm an egg and um, we have taken the Diana slash Sonia slash Kaede slash literally every character wig and we've made Misa's little like hair pigtail things and I put the little bows on top and hopefully it'll be cute. I know Misa does not have side swept bangs, um, but unfortunately for us all, I do not have a wig with straight across bangs that is blonde and also I hate straight across bangs. I look terrible with them. So Misa gets side bangs now. And here we have the finished cosplay. So let's go to the photo shoot, AKA my garage. So we're going for full, full body, but like close up, so like there's only like an inch or so around me in the frame. I'm gonna... I, I 
Alright, you do. Okay, you need to go take a step in back so you're not blind. So you distract it. Perfect. Well, I can photoshop it out. Yeah. That's because you did good makeup. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, and please. Oh, I really like the effect of the shadow versus the it, light. The light is very good. I'm going to have to show you at least one episode of Death Note. <laughs> yes. Escape by Carolyn Jessup. Very good book. Recommend it. super cute in this cosplay and I think what really really makes it Misa are the fingerless gloves. I think that is like the best touch by far and if you are looking to do a simple Misa cosplay yourself I would highly recommend you make sure you get the gloves. I think that is the best part. I retract what I said earlier about this being a good summer cosplay because as soon as I stepped outside Oof, it hit me like a wall. The heat was just so intense. Even in a tank top and a skirt, I was still boiling. So that is the conclusion of my first ever one day cosplay challenge. If you guys enjoyed this and want me to make it again, please let me know. I think this would be such a super fun series to do. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye! Death Note was one of the very first animes I watched way back in high school, and at the time, I thought Misa was super annoying. But now that I'm older and more mature, I can see that Misa is honestly an icon. Misa wants one thing, and that thing is Light Yagami. And I respect that. The girl is driven, she is passionate, and she is actually, like, insanely smart.